William Floyd was appointed Executive Director of the South Carolina Department of Employment and Workforce in May of 2023, after serving as the agency's Chief of Staff since June 2022. In his role, Mr. Floyd, if you don't mind, I'll call him William, is a member of the Governor's Cabinet and Chair of the Coordinating Council for Workforce Development. Mr. Floyd's 35 years of leadership and experience helping employers of all sizes and industries are assets that bolster the agency's effort to match job seekers and employers, navigate data and statistics related to employment and workforce, and provide a temporary financial bridge for individuals and families experiencing unemployment. Now I run to your front, the wonderful Mr. Floyd, and I will say to him, thank you so much for being a great leader. Thank you for embracing the work of the Regional Workforce Advisors across the state of South Carolina. And even before it comes forward, I want, we have three Workforce Advisors in the room today, and I want them to just stand. We have representing the Trident region, the Greenville region, and the Upstate region. And I thank and appreciate them for their support on today. Thank you. What an introduction. Thank you, Cheryl. It is great to be in Florence, and uh, what a generous uh, introduction by Cheryl. Uh, she and our regional workforce advisors, you've seen now four of the 12, doing an incredible job connecting school to work. So part of my comments is to talk about that, but you all are living it already. Now that introduction, uh, overlooked a vital part and a relevant piece of who I am and that is I started uh, workforce development activities my own many years ago here in Florence so I managed three gas stations um, two of uh, which were right there close to where Florence Darlington Tech is now and I learned a lot of things I learned how to change a tire I learned how to change oil. I learned how to change shifts with shift schedule. And I learned that I needed to go to law school instead of managing three um, gas stations. I learned a lot. And when it comes to workforce development, it's all about learning. It is about learning every day to do things better than you did before, or learn how to do things better tomorrow than you did right now. It's all about learning. And so no matter where you are in your path, it's an opportunity to learn so you can uh, do better or do differently the next day. So that's a, a part of what we do at my agency. I'm gonna talk a little bit about, in my short amount of time, I'll talk a little bit about uh, our agency. I'll talk about um, awareness, skills, and obstacles. And I'll talk about our regional workforce advisors. So. The South Carolina Department of Employment and Workforce, we call it DEW, or I like to call it DO, okay, DEW. We're all over the state. So uh, my boss is the governor, and we have 650 folks who are working together to connect people with jobs and with jobs with people. We have a site here in Florence. We have a presence in each county, and the site here in Florence, the primary site is the SE Works site. It's right down the street here on Evans Street. So we're there and our job is to help uh, employers and job seekers connect and they can do it virtually as well as in person. So in the end, our mission is to help each person meet their own um, goals. And part of that is employment so that you and your family can have family sustaining wages. That's what we do. So it's a privilege to be part uh, of the governor's cabinet and the governor has told me firsthand in every, every hand, uh, literally this year, that workforce is the number one issue in South Carolina. It, why is it the number one um, issue in South Carolina? Well, South Carolina's economy is on steroids. We are more people and employers are moving to South Carolina now than ever before. We have more people working in South Carolina today than we ever had before. That's the great news. The challenging news is we need even more. 
right? Because more and more employers are coming this way. That's a great place to live and work. Um, we have great workforce. We have great um, communities, and they want to be here. For example, the, the new battery plant that will be coming in here in Florence. Um, that, that plant, once it gets online, will ha employ at least 4,000 people. That's a lot of dedicated people. And uh, once they have that initial hiring done, I think even more is in, in the future, in terms of future hiring there as well. But in addition to that new um, employer that we're talking about, we already have really a great manufacturing base here in the Florence PD region. Um, be it Honda, South Carolina, uh, Otis, et cetera, there's a number of very good employers, Arbor Freight as well, that are there waiting uh, for our youth to get ready to, for them, okay? So in terms of the, the three things I wanna talk about now, awareness, skills, and obstacles. So our, one of the things I get to do, it's my privilege to um, chair a council, so a big committee, that is comprised of a, approximately 35 stakeholders, people that have a, a role in workforce development. And um, that's co that council is called the Coordinating Council for Workforce Development. It um, was recently reinvigorated in a big way, and they asked me to chair it, and it's my privilege to serve with a number, uh, Secretary, uh, Secretary of Commerce, the uh, Superintendent of Education, the Commission for Higher Education, a lot of um, big agencies that are engaged in workforce development from pre-K through beyond. Okay, that's who's on this council, in addition to employers and other stakeholders. And one of the initial big tasks we have is to come up with a roadmap. You know, nowadays we all use, you know, Waze or uh, some other app for getting us from, from here to where you want to go. Well, back in the day when I was managing that three, those three gas stations, one of the most popular selling items were roadmaps. People were coming off 95 trying to figure out where to go. And this was before there was an app, right? So they got to get a map and see, I'm here and this is where I want to go. Well, that kind of roadmap is the thing that we're working on now, one of the big projects, and it's called the Unified State Plan. And it is not a roadmap per se, but really its goal is to connect people with work opportunities and to make sure that's today and tomorrow. So it's forward looking. So this unified state plan has identified three things that are relevant to why we're here today. One is awareness. Awareness means knowing who you are and where you wanna be, okay? Awareness in this context also includes knowledge for parents, students, and educators about where the new jobs are and where they're, they're gonna be in the future as well. Awareness in South Carolina is really big because for many years, many people thought that the way to connect with all these good jobs was to get a four-year degree. Well. The fact is, that's not the fact. To connect with those, many of those huge jobs and huge plants that are coming to town, a high school degree is more than enough. A technical college degree, two-year degree, or a certificate is good enough because the employers, they're really interested in who you are and your soft skills as well as your hard skills. So I'm gonna come back to that in a moment. But awareness is important for your parents if you're a student. Awareness is important for you as a student to know who you are and where you wanna go. So in a community, this unified state plan helps emphasize and incentivize awareness because it's important that our educators know about the opportunities out there, that our employers know and engage with um, the educators so that there is 
literally a pipeline from school to work. That is already, already exists, and now what we're doing is uh, optimizing that, you know, this workforce pipeline, but we really want to start it off by making sure everyone's aware, students and parents are aware of the incredible opportunities. And I, the, the uh, last group that were up here, that panel discussion, uh, if you were on that panel discussion, I saw some of you all, raise your hand again, if you're there. Incredible work, incredible work right up here. Pretty good. And the young man right there with the camo hat, you learned discretion. That discretion was how you responded to that last question. That's discretion. There's an art to that because it does not come naturally <laughs> to know when to start and when to stop. So uh, that's discretion. Well done for each panelist. That, I've seen and participated in a lot of panels. You all were very relevant and uh, very well spoken. You all already know in your head, I think, from your discussion of where you are and where you want to be. That's awareness. Okay, so that's a great example of awareness. The next thing that's on the US, uh, the Unified State Plan is skills. So I know who I am and where I want to be, but how I'm going to get there. Okay, that's skills will get you there. Okay, when if I had continued managing the three gas stations in Florence long ago, then the next step for me would have been to go to Florence Darlington Tech or to go to some other uh, management school to talk about business management. Okay, that's if that had been my path, that's what I would have done. Um, uh, uh, the skills that are available in South Carolina start actually in kindergarten. All right, because in kindergarten you are lo learning the the little kids are learning how to work and play well together. All right, that's part of soft skills, learning to work as a team. Ultimately, as a team, it's part of soft skills. Learning where to be when you're supposed to be there, that's part of soft skills. And knowing how to communicate when you're there, that's part of soft skills. Some of the largest employers in South Carolina have told me that are making incredible automobiles, for example, they've told me, William, we don't need somebody with a PhD and often we don't need somebody with a two-year degree in order to work here. And I said, well, what do you need? They said, we need soft skills. We need somebody to know, you know how to work together as a team, how to follow the work rules, meaning to keep them safe and to keep the product um, you know, it, the, made the way it needs to be made, and how to communicate in an effective fashion. So those soft skills and, and reporting to work on time, those soft skills are the doorway to a lot of opportunities in the PD, uh, as well as South Carolina and beyond. So that's a skill. And in addition to that skill, we are fortunate in South Carolina to have a great Kate system, of which we've heard a lot about today. And in addition to that, uh, for those who want to go to the next step, to have, I think, the best uh, technical college system in the state, and um, including Florence Darlington Tech. We are really fortunate to have that good system. Because when a big employer is thinking about coming to South Carolina, the first question they will ask is, tell me about where my employees are gonna come from, and what kind of uh, background do they have, what kind of skills do they have, how do they get those skills, and how uh, accessible those skills are okay that's the skill piece of this now the next thing the obstacles now life is hard right life um, sometimes is not fair and in particularly in our rural communities sometimes it's hard to get from where you are literally in a rural community to where you want to be literally to that job right so transportation sometimes is a challenge or childcare is sometimes a challenge, or other things uh, become a challenge that, that you have to overcome to go from where you are and where do you want to be. And so part of this unified state plan is focusing on the so-called obstacles to go from where you are to where you want to be 
and uh, it's not going to be solved by one agency or one entity it's going to be a group effort as we address these kind of uh, issues but they are being addressed in new and unique ways so we, those of us who came from a rural community and i came from a rural community that is was a flashing a flashing light was the only thing in it at, uh, at a crossroad that was all so when you come from a rural community wonderful things happen in rural communities um, one of the unique parts of it, though, is getting from where you are living to where you, you want to work. So we're, we're addressing those obstacles. Now, one way to, to bridge all three of those things, awareness, skills, and obstacles to, to the workplace are through our regional uh, workforce advisors. So you've already met Ms. Cheryl and three other of our team. We have uh, an RWA in each of the 12 work regions in South Carolina. It's a, it's a unique thing for South Carolina. It is a great thing for South Carolina because they are what I call the secret ingredient. They've been doing a great job long before I started working with them. We started working together this past July and it's been really transformative for my agency as well as them because they're work, we're working like this together. And their job is to, uh, of awareness um, primarily, and it's to let the elementary schools, the middle schools, and the high schools, and their parents, and their educators know about the incredible work opportunities that are out their doors, and to let the employers know about the importance to engage with our education system, just like we see witnessed today and yesterday. Now, I think that kind of engagement really helps both the students, parents, and educators as much as it does uh, the employers and vice versa. Because by doing that, you end up working more like this, engaging more, and, you're, and the system reflects your community more when you have that kind of awareness. And our RWAs help us uh, make that connection. They're part of uh, that process, again, we, are, we can't do this all by ourselves. We do, cannot do this by ourselves, and we don't. We work in partnership with lots of community partners and agencies uh, and, and schools, so it's a privilege to do that. So to, to begin wrapping up my, my time, I wanna make sure I, I could talk forever, but uh, we'll wrap up my time. It is really a privilege to be here back in Florence where workforce development uh, uh, started with me to then look ahead with you all about the incredible opportunities that are right outside the door, sometimes literally as well as figuratively. And the question is how you're going to connect up with those opportunities and how are those opportunities going to connect with you all. This type of uh, uh, conference today, the panelists that we had previously, for example, are good ways to know about those opportunities and the, the, op, the challenge now for us is, uh, as a student, to think, here's where I am, and look ahead and decide where you want to be. In South Carolina, we're extremely blessed. The opportunities out there for employers and job seekers are incredible, particularly compared to many other places. This is a great place to live and work and raise your family. So I'm happy for you all that you have these opportunities out there and I would encourage you to step up and go for them. So with that, I appreciate this time. And Cheryl, do you want me to take any questions or are we going to wrap up? All right. Any questions? All right. Well, I'm going to be around after the presentation. I welcome your questions. But most importantly, I, I appreciate what you all are doing, whether you're an educator, a student, an employer or somewhere in between. Thank you what you do day in and day out and have a great day.